If you don't have a measuring container, how can you calculate the volume accurately of an irregularly shaped container? You might say, oh, that's easy, it's rectangular. Yes, I can work out the dimensions this way and that way, but I can't get an accurate height because it is an unusual shape here. It has a hollow handle, a lid there, and I don't know what to measure as the height. But you can do it. Can you think of a way of working out the volume of this container with a ruler only? Curiosity. How do we work out the volume of the container? Well, the width of the bottle is 9 centimetres, and the ruler tells me that across this side it's 15 centimetres, but the difficult dimension is the height. How do we do that? Well, it's partially full of cordial. In fact, it's up to the 13 centimetre mark. But the difficulty is calculating the volume of this air space above the cordial because of the hollow handle and everything else. How on earth do we do that? Well, it's very easy. Just turn the bottle upside down, and now that air is sitting in a regular end. And according to me, the height of that part is just 7 centimetres. 13 centimetres for the cordial, 7 centimetres for the air, gives a height of 20 centimetres, even though it varies top and bottom. So, the three dimensions we need are 9 centimetres for the width, 15 for the measurement across the side, and then 20 for the average height of the container and the answer will be in cubic centimetres. 9 times 15 times 20. Well, 15 times 20 comes to 300, times 9 gives us 2,700 or 2,700 cubic centimetres. 2,700 centimetres cubed. Change that to litres, that's easy. Divide by 1,000 and we end up with 2.7 litres. So that's the volume of this container. Try that one on Mum and Dad.